Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yahad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx. Able and On Air has been seen in the following publications. Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists. Hello and welcome to this edition of Ableton On Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able. I've always been your host, Lauren Seiler. On this uh, edition of Able to Learn Air, this is a special edition of Able to Learn Air, and it is about the Vermont flood that ravaged Vermont over a couple of weeks ago. Um, the resources that I am going to be giving today are current, and if you need assistance, please, by all means, tune in and uh, we'll make sure to give you resources for those that were ravaged by, uh, by the flood of, of Vermont and also parts of New England. New York got some of it as well. Um, so let's, uh, let's get started. So um, the first um, resource that I'm going to be giving, as you can see on your screen, um, here it comes from the city of Montpelier, Vermont. Uh, you can go to www.montpelier slash vt.org. That's www.montpelier slash vt.org. And um, when you come to the website, um, as you can see on your screen, but when you come to the website, uh, there are there is flood disaster recovery assistance. Um, I'm going to be giving you information on the Red Cross as well, um, but um, uh, there's flood disaster recovery assistance. Uh, please stay tuned, according to the webpage, it says please stay tuned to this page for the latest disaster recovery assistance information and resources. Um, so when you scroll down, you will see um, press releases, cleaning guides, um, and it tells you how to remove um, uh, how to remove trash safely. Um, by the way, for those that are walking in town, please be aware of mice and other uh, uh, other bugs. Um, and uh, one piece of advice I'm going to give everybody. When you remove your trash, do not, uh, I repeat, do not uh, take it back into your house or business. In other words, um, there are signs all over town stating um, that, uh, especially with mattresses, uh, mattresses contain bed bugs and they contain other things. Um, because 
before I give the resources, what happened with this original flood is, um, and some parts of Vermont got it worse than others, including Ludlow. Uh, um, this, the reason why I say do not take trash into your house is because the trash contains, uh, it contains gasoline, petroleum, uh, sewage, uh, which means also from the toilet, and uh, sewage systems, and you do not want that in your house or business. So, um, when you go down, let me uh, go down here, where it says cleaning guides and debris information. So cleaning information, um, so let me just go down here. According to the Department of Health, um, when you have mold after a flood, let's click there, and it's giving information um, about mold. So according to the state of Vermont and also the CDC, um, mold and mildew are general terms used to describe a kind of fungus. There are hundreds of different types of mold that vary in color and appearance. Mold is a common <clears throat> is common in nature and can be found indoors. Mold can grow on foods, building materials, upholstery, clothing, and other services. If your home or building has been flooded and you are not able to dry out within 24 to 48 hours, ex uh, please assume you have mold growth. Um, mold in your health. How will mold react on your health depends on many factors. Types of mold um, and the amount of mold is the amount of time you are exposed for, to your overall health. Exposure to mold and mildew can lead to asthma attacks, eye and skin irritation, and allergic reactions. You you may have more severe reactions with mold allergies. If you have a weakened immune system or breathing problems, you may get serious lung infections and uh, around you with mold. Um, although rare, um, although rare, it is possible to get a regulatory fungal infection, which means <clears throat> the growth on your body and tissue. Please talk to your Vermont healthcare provider if you have any concerns or questions. Um, it said, you can go down here with, I'm not gonna read this whole entire thing, but it says, um, well actually I could. So how to protect yourself from mold, protect yourself from mold by wearing protective clothing, including masks and N95, um, N95 gloves, or goggles, uh, goggles. <clears throat> Children with breathing problems and people with weakened immune systems should not, I repeat, should not help clean up after a flood. Use portable air cleaners with HEPA, high efficient, high efficiently uh, air filters to reduce the exposure of mold in the air. Please learn how to se select the right air cleaner for your home or building. According to the EPA um, guide to cleaners in your home, uh, for more information on the Environmental Protection Agency on cleaners in your home, please go to www.environmentalprotectionagency.epa.gov, www.epa.gov forward slash indoor quality uh, air cleaners for filters. And for more information on anything that I've discussed with the Department of Health, um, the Dep Vermont Department of Health is located at 108 Cherry Street, Burlington, uh, Vermont 05401. They can be reached at 802-863-7222. Zero. Uh, again, the Vermont Department of Health, in terms of the flood 
and what to do and how to do it, you can reach them at 802-863-7220. Uh, and they can be reached at www.healthvermont.gov. Um, now, in terms of this flood, and it is very bad, um, especially people with disabilities, if you, people with special needs, I, I give you a warning. Um, do not hire a contractor you do not trust. Again, do not hire a contractor who does not know how to paint, who does not know how to um, do anything in terms of uh, flood extraction and garbage or anything like that. You must uh, get one that's reputable. Hiring a contractor, floods can... Um, floods can cause mold growth. <clears throat> if mold is covering more than 100 square feet, you probably want to get the help of a contractor that specializes in mold cleanup. As with any contractor, please get references to access the contractor's experience, past work um, success, and other clients with their work. Please note that there is no federal Vermont Again, there is no federal Vermont certifications or licenses for, for mold uh, re remediation. Um, a contractor is not needed for small mold problems less than 10 square feet. Between, uh, for areas 10 to 100 square feet, use your judgment to decide. Um, and... Um, the next piece I'm going to discuss here it says, if you are a renter or employee, talk to or anyone uh, renting a house or an apartment, please talk to your landlord or employee uh, employer about mold problems. If the mold problem is serious and conditions persist, renters may want to call their town health officer and or contact www.healthvermont.gov find your THO and employees may wish to contact the Vermont Occupational Safety Health Administration or, or OSHA. <coughs> uh, again, the Vermont Department of Health can be reached at 802-863-7220. Now, um, I'm going to go to a website. Since so we mentioned OSHA, okay, uh, the Occupational Safety Administration. Okay, this comes from the United States Department of Labor. Um, Flood preparedness and response. If you need information from the government agency OSHA.gov, you can go to www.osha.gov. That's osha.gov <clears throat> forward slash flood. Um, on this page, from the United States Department of Labor, uh, floods can be serious catastrophes, and they are one of the most common hazards in the United States. Floods are caused by the variety of factors, including including um, sudden accumulation of rain, rising rivers, tidal surges, ice jams, and dam and dam failures. OSHA and NOAA. Uh, NOAA are working together on a public education effort aimed to improving the way <clears throat> uh, and prepared, um, prepared to respond to severe weather. This page on the, uh, on the Department of Labor is designed to help businesses and workers prepare for floods uh, and provide information about hazards and work that may, they may face during a flood event. Workers 
who have to respond to flooded areas face greater risk for floods. But all workers uh, may protect themselves by preparing evacu evacua uh, evacuation plans, sorry, uh, and learning about um, hazards commonly associated with floods. The preparedness page on OSHA.gov provides information when making an evacuation plan. Emergency supply kits, you must have one, and you must have uh, flood watches and warnings. Um, the plan information can help you uh, when you are ready to you evacuate in an orderly manner in an orderly manner before rising waters impact the businesses and residents of your evacuation results or uh, uh, evacuation routes, I'm sorry. Um, now, um, you must also stay informed. So for more information on occupational safety hazards and flood preparedness, please go to www.osha.gov. That's osha.gov forward slash floods. Now, um, here it says on, on the side of this website, um, let's go down to where it says emergency preparedness and response. Um, emergencies can create a variety of hazards for workers of impacted areas. Vermont was one of them. Preparing before an emergency accident plays a vital role in ensuring that employers uh, and workers have the necessary equipment to know and go. Uh, so down on this uh, website, you can, um, there are some boxes on the website uh, and there are sections. General preparedness and response. Um, you can click one of these, national disasters and weather, um, floods, hurricanes, lightning safety, etc. winter weather, so on. This page is sponsored by the American Red Cross and um, other organizations. The National Integrated Heat Health Information System. So for more information on any occupational safety things discussed on today's program, you can go to uh, OSHA.gov forward slash emergency www.osha.gov forward slash emergency. Now, I'm, I'm heading, there is a website called Montpelier Alive. Okay. Okay, we, we went. <clears throat> All right. So, Montpelier Alive is dealing with the flood. Um, again, I'm going back to this page. If you would like to help uh, the city of Montpelier um, by, uh, do by donating uh, to the flood victims, you can go to www.montpelierstrong.org. That is www.montpelierstrong.org. Um, if you tune into this program and try to go to any of the stores, the only um, stores that are open are the supermarket um, and some others. Uh, everybody else is closed at this time. Um, and uh, so for more information on anything uh, related to the flood and uh, donating to flood victims, you can go to www.mambuyastrong.org. Now, uh, I am going to um, mention the American Red Cross. Okay. Okay, so 
I'm mentioning American Red Cross today. We have some time left. Um, with the Ameri for more information on this uh, information here for um, the American Red Cross and floods, you can go to www.americanredcross.org forward slash help how to prepare for emergencies and floods. So www.redcross.org forward slash get help how to prepare for emergencies and floods. So uh, flooding is a temporary overflow of water onto land that is normally dry. Floods can result from rain, snow, coastal storms, storm surges, overflows of rivers, and dam failure. Floods can be dangerous. People can, <clears throat> people can die from drowning when they don't evacuate before floodwaters. Um, uh, floods can damage um, floods can damage buildings and roads, cause power outages, and create landslides. Flood waters can carry waste, pollute drinking water. Do not drink the. I know. There, um, there's do not drink orders in your, in your county. Um, please um, make sure that um, I would get uh, bottled water. I would not drink the water from the tap. So uh, if you want to um, drink water, please get bottled water. So flooding can develop slowly or quickly. Flash floods can suddenly, uh, can be sudden and violent. Climate change increases our uh, many types of flooding. We can take action to prepare. Prepare now to protect yourself and loved ones. Um, so uh, you can um, now, what it says here, what should you do before a flood? Understand your flood risk. Learn about the types of flooding and how your home and community can help. Um, types of flooding include flash floods, river floods, storm surges, coastal, um, coastal floods, burn scars, debris flow, ice debris jams, snow melt, dry wash, dam breaks, or levee failures. Please reach out to your local emergency management office for advice. Please know the community's flood risk Visit the FEMA Flood Maps Service Center and search your home using your address. Flash floods can be sudden and violent um, and can have uh, little or no warning. A river flood. Know that in your area is um, prone to, to river floods. Please review the evaluation, the evalu the evacuation plan when you leave quickly, if officials advise you to evacuate. Storm surges, please be prepared um, and evacuate immediately if your local uh, officials advise. A storm surge can cause water levels to rise quickly and um, flood large areas in just minutes. Coastal flooding. Please be prepared to evacuate immediately if your local officials advise. Move inland before flooding begins. Now, during the last couple of minutes, um, there is a checklist here. I'm going to go over oh, the English. Now, there is Spanish. So you can download the flood safety checklist according to the American Red Cross. Um, and all right, so um, it says here, during a flood, if you're in the water, never walk, swim, or drive through flood water. Just six inches 15 centimeters of fast-moving flood water can knock you over. After uh, and 
12 and 30 meters, 30 centimeters can carry your vehicle, your vehicle away. So um, please be careful when you're in flood water. Okay, what to do to prevent injury um, during a flood. Understand the dangers that you may face and keep your loved ones safe. If you are evacuated, please wait for officials to say that it is safe before, before going home in the last couple of minutes. Avoid, please avoid, during a flood, uh, fallen power lines, poles, and wires. If they electrocute, uh, or, <clears throat> excuse me, they can electrocute you. Please watch out for falling trees and other debris. Use flashlights or battery-powered lanterns. Um, rather than uh, reduce fire risk. Many injuries happen during cleanup. Please wear protective equipment like boots, long pants, work gloves, eyewear, such as what I'm wearing now, which is uh, to stop glare, um, or an N95 respirator mask to protect your lungs. Follow the advice of public health officials. Learn how to use safe, equipment, safely, equipment safely. Do not touch electrical equipment if it's wet. And if you are standing in water because you are going to get electrocuted. Clean up is a big job. Take care of yourself, work with a partner, and take frequent breaks. Um, so this information can be found at www.americanredcross.org. Uh, Again, www.redcross.org. Um, help during flood. Um, so this information today was vitally important. If you are um, at risk uh, during your flood or during the flood, please contact, um, for, for if you're in Washington County, please contact um, the uh, city of Montpelier if you need extra assistance. Please contact www.montpelier.org. That is W. Uh, let, let me just take a look at it again so I don't make a mistake. City of Montpelier page. Okay. A minute. <clears throat> yeah. So if you're if you've been affected, let's go back to the original page. Um, if you've been affected by the flood, please go to www.montpelier/vt.org. That is www.montpelier/vt.org. Uh, the city of Montpelier, Vermont. Um, there are right in the middle of the page, really quick before we end. Um, there is flood disaster recovery assistance. Uh, and you can click that link, and it will bring you to a page. Um, so again, I'm going back to the original page. If you need help with debris removal or you need help with um, garbage removal, please contact the city of Montpelier at www.montpelier.org. Slash vt.org flood disaster recovery assistance. Um, this has been uh, a special report um, with uh, this has been a special report with Abled and on air focusing on f on flood recovery and the Vermont flood. And for more information on Abled and on air and what you've seen today you can go to www.orcamediamedia.net. That's orcamedia.net. And again, uh, please be careful during, uh, during the flood. Do not touch uh, garbage with your hands. Please use gloves 
and um, uh, do not stand in water and do not touch electrical equipment during a flood. This has been um, Abel Ben on air. Uh, I'm Lauren Seiler. Uh, my wife um, was unable to be here today. Uh, we wish her a speedy recovery in the hospital. I'm Lauren Seiler. Please be careful and take care during this flood. See you next time. Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yihad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx. Abel de Nonair has been seen in the following publications. Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists.